Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Vertical Drop Heroes HD. Let's get into things. Here we go. So what do we have here? We have Essence Spike, Ferret Render, and Black Hex. Okay, so what do we see first? As always, we see health, then we check weapon, then we check our active ability, followed by our traits. So I see one guy who has greedy. He also has the least health of everybody. So we're going to at least consider that but I don't like having so little health. He also has a crossbow, which is an interesting weapon combination. We haven't had a chance to use the pickaxe yet. Attack to dig. Iron foot, fire walker, arrow, and red dragon. You know, I feel like giving red dragon a second chance, and I also just want to see the pickaxe in action. So ferret render it is. Let's do it. Let's drop. So we had a really successful run in our last game. So we have a lot of money to spend, and that's good because it's getting more and more expensive to actually buy any of this stuff. So we're going to go ahead and cash in for more damage because you know I like more damage, and we'll also cash in for a little more health. Uh, we've got 300 gold. We'll just let that ride. So let's descend. Here we go. Goblin Forest starting things out. Our current strategy is, of course, to get as many pacifist orbs as we can before then immediately engaging in killing everything and hitting every single alarm that we see. And this fine fellow looks like our first victim, and indeed he is. So I'm playing in a bit of a, a bit of a state here today. I, uh, just last evening, absolutely shredded my foot on a piece of a casserole dish that my wife broke in our kitchen a couple days ago. You know, thought we'd cleaned it up. Sneaky little glass shard embedded itself deep into my foot. Uh, was not fun. Was not fun in the slightest. And I'm also uh, starting to get a little bit of a cold. So it's just good times all around. So I'm looking here. I'm kind of trying to make an informed decision. I have four keys already, which is just insane. Uh, but I'm wondering about that ability to dig. Can I, in fact... Oh, you can only dig through dirt. But that should mean... I can dig through that. Ooh, crafty. So the pickaxe already paying for itself, saving me a full key there and allowing me to actually get quite a bit of gold. So yeah, I think I like the pickaxe quite a bit. Where from here? I don't, with only two keys left, I don't see, yeah, I don't see the point in spending that uh, one key to then spend one other key and then we're out of keys. So we are just going to go over here, trigger an alarm, bring about more enemies that we can kill, and continue to get XP and gold as we drop further into the Temple of Knowledge here. Eh, Shrine of Blood, five coins, one max damage for the rest of the run. Eh, you know, that's, that's not bad. That's the same thing. Yes, it is. Uh, if I had a thief, I would definitely consider freeing the thief, but we don't. All we have is a barbarian who would wreak some absolute havoc and would probably create some interesting scenarios, but I am choosing to save that key. Uh, so let's not leave this guy behind. Don't want to leave any goblin unmurdered if we can avoid it. There we go. Uh, let's see, we do have a crate over here that I think is at least worth checking out. So yeah, things are going in an interesting way today for Big Dave. Uh, trying to uh, work through the foot injury, not a big deal. Just, you know, got to make sure not to open it back up by putting too much pressure on it. And since I do carry a significant amount of weight, my poor foot is... Uh, is indeed protesting anytime I put it down too hard. So hopefully we're not going to reopen that hideous wound. Let's see, what do we have here? Uh, when the timer reaches zero, the bombs will blow and kill your hero. So one of those levels, joy. Alrighty, alrighty. So we are missing the pacifist orb over here. We're missing, oh, we're missing a lot of stuff over there. Uh, unfortunate. Uh, but hey, thanks for putting a box there so we don't have to actually use one of our precious keys. Four enemies for 50 XP. I'll do that every single time. 
Oh, there we go. Our friendly bombs are starting to explode. Things are going sideways a bit. Six coins to restore HP to full. We're already at full HP. <clears throat> oh, hello. Walked right into that one. So, uh, yeah, apparently there's going to be a wizard on this level because we've already seen a number of... Oh, hello. We've already seen a number of potions, I believe two. So we're looking for one more potion. An alarm here, which is going to spawn in a whole ton of guys. And... We're not going to have too much of a hard time with it. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, you know what? Red Dragon, because why not? I, I really I want to see the Red Dragon do something that's worth a damn, because in my experience with the Red Dragon so far, it just hasn't happened. So uh, go, Red Dragon. Go and destroy. He's doing pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm not going to complain. The Red Dragon is actually doing work. Uh, yeah, two enemies to gain a key. Absolutely. Oh, still hit the spikes. I hate that. So yeah, this run's going great. Uh, yeah, I gotta remember to use that pickaxe because that is a valuable addition to my damage or to my uh, arsenal here. So I have to remember to use it. Absolutely. There's our final potion. I missed a couple of enemies up here, but uh, oh well. I'm gonna leave a key over there in order to ooh, trigger two alarms. So our red dragon is uh, absolutely doing work. Oh, darn it. That is not what I wanted, but oh well. Oh, hello, bomb. I'm going to try to jump at the right moment here. Can we do it? No, we can't, because it blew up the crate underneath me, or the uh, ground underneath me. So sad, so sad. Oh well. Uh, we do have arrows, so, you know, we should use those. Getting a little low on health, so I don't want to get too up close and personal with that red champion. And we've got a crate and a Shrine of Restoration over here. Gotta do it, gotta do it. There we go. I hate deserts, they're so dry. Turn invisible for 10 seconds. I, I have enjoyed the invisibility ability when I... Visibility ability. The invisibility ability when I have uh, had it on my character. But I don't think it's necessarily that great of a value when I'm just grabbing it off of a shrine like that. There we go. I'll take that key for sure. And four enemies for 75 XP. Sure, why not? So our damage isn't quite where I want it to be. Usually by now I've been talking at length about damage and levels and uh, the fact that I'm not one-shotting guys. Haven't really been talking too much about that, but it is still true. Oh, seeing that wizard down there reminds me that we forgot to go back up top and deliver the green potions to the other wizard. Oh, darn. All right, looking good. What do you want, buddy? Ancient tablets, all right. If I happen to see them, I will do it. Uh, yeah, Red Dragon seems good right here. Go forth and kill, Red Dragon. Redeem thyself. Redeem your entire dragon race. Or, or don't, you know, you could just be confused. Sure, I'll, I'll handle it, Red Dragon. Don't worry. All right, there's an ancient tablet for us. Definitely will hit that alarm. No problem there. Hmm. A Red Dragon just seems confused. Maybe this is a juvenile Red Dragon. He just doesn't... He doesn't have the killer instinct developed quite yet. Uh, yeah, let's uh, bring in a mentor for our Red Dragon. Since we do have a Shrine of Restoration right down here, that seems a good idea. We'll go ahead and charge up our abilities back to full. I like it. I like it a lot. You know, you guys could murder anytime you're ready. You want to hurt people, kill people, anything. Oh, good thing I have Iron Foot. Come on, dragons. Come on. There you go. There you go. One of them has departed. Uh, sure, we have 12 keys. That's absolutely ridiculous. And there's our last tablet, so uh, note to self, go back up top. And our second red dragon leaves. So uh, the first time we used a red dragon on this run, quite impressive. The next two times, eh. So 
So perhaps the uh, third time is a charm if I'm counting the last two as one single attempt. I guess this is three, though technically this is the fourth red dragon, but whatever. Do better, red dragon. Do better. Do better than your kin. Luckily, I can take those shots. Again, Iron Foot helping out a great deal. All right, there is our teleporter. So we'll let our red dragon do a little bit of work, and then we will teleport. An archer there, a ranger we can free. I think that is probably going to be worth it. Oh, nice. Just, just another six damage, you know. So let's go back up. We'll drop down quickly, and we will hit our wizard, who will reward us. Well, I was going to say greatly, but, you know, he will reward us. Uh, plus three max damage. That is a nice uh, reward, actually. I... Ooh, I was being a bit snarky there, but our wizard did give us a decent enough reward. And this will give us a chance to right a couple of wrongs, a couple of things we missed on the way down. Including killing that guy and restoring our power. Should have activated a red dragon before I did that. Oh, well. All right, what have we here? Seven coins to restore to max HP. I mean, that's that's nice and all. But, you know, Whatever. So we have our uh, Alpha Knoll down there. He will teleport, so he will come to the party if we don't bring the party to him. Uh, Red Dragon is probably going to get killed by him. Yep, one-shotted right away. Uh, I guess that's the key with the Red Dragon, is that the Red Dragon just kind of sucks when it comes to fighting bosses, because bosses can do enough damage to one-shot the Red Dragon. And that is not fun. Kind of makes you feel like you wasted a, a power, right? Feels, feels like I wasted that ability when I took it if I only use it on bosses. So I have to remember, don't use it on bosses because bosses will mess up your red dragon. All right, Shrine of Keys. Spawn two enemies, gain a key. Absolutely. And it is two lovely fly spawners in the form of mummies. I hate flies. I hate flies. So we're not going to exactly... Uh, rush through this level, but we're not going to go uh, slow either. And that, that wizard is absolutely doing some work. Four enemies for 100 XP? Sure, why not? I've got a red dragon flying. I've got a wizard that's shielding. I feel like I'm in a pretty good place. Four enemies for 100 XP. You know what? Again, feels like a good uh, deal. So we'll take it. Red dragons, beautiful, lovely, vicious red dragons flying everywhere, killing everything. I love it. I love it. Huge fall there. Didn't really mean to fall that far, but you know what? Whatever. It's going to get us to the bottom of the level. So we got a couple of barbarians. You know what? We have such an excess of keys. We might as well go ahead and free them. It's going to create quite a bit of chaos in the level, and I like that. Ice bolts in all directions. Still remembering back to one of the first few episodes when I used uh, that ice bolts in all directions, and it absolutely screwed me. So I shy away from it still. Right or wrong. I still think every time I see those that they're going to crush me, even though they don't, and I'm so happy that they don't crush. A key over here, I mean, with 12 keys, it feels like I'm wasting my time. But I did it anyway. So really, I'm wasting your time, not mine. This is kind of what I do. And the red dragon's actually doing a little bit of work on that boss. I can't, uh, I can't complain. Although actually, the barbarians did far, far more to aid me on that particular fight. So thank you, barbarians, and I will continue on. The gray statue, of those glowing skulls, those glowing crystals. Oh, wait, I missed it. But Come on, tell me about it. Yeah, all right. So, uh, yeah, when using a bow as your weapon, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for the tip. So there's something here with clerk crystals glowing. I don't know. I didn't read fast enough. Reading comprehension and reading speed is not uh, one of the things I would consider to be my strong suit. Uh, spawn two enemies to gain a key. You know what? At this point, I don't need a key, and I am at a point where the enemies are pretty darn... pretty darn tough. An evil mongoose rat. Uh, yeah, so the uh, barbarian did so much for me last time, I'm definitely going to free him again, and uh, we're going to go ahead and set loose a red dragon because, you know, he is quite effective against standard enemies. Okay, there's a key over there, but I don't feel like risking it. Oh, the fire mongoose. 
hate him, I hate him. Eh, there's another key, sure, why not? Just lots of stuff going on. I do have to remember that the uh, flying gargoyle guys, uh, vampire bats, I believe they're technically called here, uh, will follow you down. So if you kind of just bypass a bunch of them, you're going to have a parade of vampire bats that are going to all show up all at once when you get to the boss at the bottom. All right, where are we here? A wizard down here along with a lot of crates. That's definitely worth a key. Fireballs in all directions. Well, it would have been nice if I had just waited and uh, these uh, fire... Uh, what are these things called? Fire imps. Okay, I was going to say fire rats, fire ferrets, but they uh, they actually blew a hole in the side. I could have waited, could have saved a key, but I have 16 keys and that just, you know, that's plenty of keys for anything that anybody could possibly want keys for. I've got an alarm down here. You know, why not? But these, uh, these damn fire imps. Oh, there's the guy with the alarms. I love these guys. I can't believe I went so long without actually seeing these guys, but I absolutely love them. I think they're a great enemy. It's doing some actual timely dodging here. I can't believe it. Uh, almost like I'm getting better at this game. Uh, getting proficient, even. Might as well go ahead and kill this guy. Might as well. His alarm has already been sprung, I do believe. Uh, yeah, we're doing great right now. Absolutely great. So uh, I'm, I'm happy. I am happy to uh, stop bouncing on this mushroom. I am happy to uh, murder these guys and bring about a uh, bunch of enemies for me to fight. But that's okay. I don't feel outclassed by these enemies. Oh, a thief. Man, it's going to be so tough to get to him. But I think worth it. Take a little time, but you know, he's going to make us quite a bit of money fireballs in all directions don't care but that thief if he can stay alive will definitely help us out quite a bit you know i'm gonna go ahead and hit this sh you know what no i think i can do it i'm gonna persevere i think i got this i think i've got this we shall see but i think i got this i'm really close to a level up there we go and you will set off your alarm which you already have i think i guess he did I mean, clearly he did. Uh, yeah, so let's refill. Let's get ourselves a nice XP stone thingy. And quick survey of the level. We are all clear. Moving on to six, the crystal caves. Here we go. Rainstorm makes the water higher. Hates the flames. Hates the fire. All right. So, uh, Firewalker so far, not actually doing anything for us. But quite frankly... Uh, that is, as I have said before, Ironfoot and Firewalker, those are skills that I will take and never use and still be satisfied because I know that if that situation had arisen, if I had ended up, oh, f flowers, uh, easily distracted, aren't I? Uh, if I had ended up on a fire level, uh, that would have been huge to have uh, Firewalker. So I'm satisfied with having Firewalker, and I'm not going to lament the fact that I have not yet bumped into a fire level, because that would just be crazy. Ugh, flies. Flies are definitely my, my uh, bane in this game. Uh, both my bane as in the bane of my existence, and my bane as in, you know, wheezy old man bane. Can I just say... I almost walked out of Dark Knight Rises. I, I, I have to admit that. You know, I, I almost walked out of Batman and Robin, but I, I persevered uh, through probably one of the worst movies in, in the history of cinema. Uh, but that's how you have to say it, cinema, uh, if you're talking about, you know, serious film. Uh, but I nearly walked out of uh, Dark Knight Rises. I know a lot of people like that movie. Uh, I absolutely hated it. Uh, absolutely hated it. And I consider myself a bit of a, you know, a film buff. I have worked in uh, in uh, video stores for a lot of my youth, back when video stores were a thing. Kids, if you don't know what a video store is, there used to be this time where you'd actually have to go and rent physical copies of the movies that you wanted to see and not just get them on the uh, on the Netflix there. Uh, yeah, and I was a uh, I was an employee of one of those sites, one of those uh, businesses. Uh, watched a ton of movies, considered myself a film buff trait aggressive purchases trait for future heroes max damage plus 50 percent but hp eh no no thank you but yeah yeah i don't i didn't get it uh, i think that the uh, the tom hardy's bane was absolutely uh, off point for me 
not uh, not convincing. I'm a, I'm a huge Batman fan. I was I was reading the Batman comics at the time of the Bane storyline, um, and you know it wasn't just like a Johnny Come Lately. I was reading Batman comics at that time, and absolutely loved that storyline. I loved the place that it took you know the Batman and Bruce Wayne characters, and I felt like Bane just absolutely missed the mark in the film. But uh, you know that's neither here nor there. I think it was generally considered a successful film. Hmm, I missed a flower somewhere. There's a flower that I missed. Whoa, okay. Lots of spikes. So it's getting a little hairy. I mean, absolutely getting a little hairy here. Uh, oh, hello, Mother Spider. Okay, so that... What happened there? Okay, she warped. That was not good. Um, red dragons. I, I just... I don't know what to do. And I'm dead. Okay, well... Yeah, I died. I think that's going to do it. I think one big, nice, long run is indeed what we need. But uh, yeah, so to recap this episode, we did pretty well. We made it to level six, level six, 18 minutes, uh, almost 19 minutes. Uh, the spider boss seemed to be harder than before. So I guess if that web hits you, absolute madness ensues. So I will be careful. And also uh, to, to recap the rest of the episode, the pickaxe is pretty cool. And I didn't like the Dark Knight Rises because of wheezy old man Bane. Sorry, Tom Hardy. I think you're a great actor, but I think that was one of your absolute worst roles. All right, guys. I have been Big Dave. And until next time, take it easy.